thanks for hanging out. I'm Michael, and in 2010, I started a website and a blog called Overland Bound. I started it because I had recently rediscovered a connection with the great outdoors. It's how I grew up, largely in part due to my father. Adventure was paramount to living at that time, and we were outside all the time. You know, I, I never, I never imagined Overland Bound would have as many members as it has now. And I, if I look back, I, I think that the reason it's grown and continues to grow is because people, um, they agree with our core principles, one of which is adventure is necessary. Humans aren't good at being sedentary. In fact, we suck at it. It makes us kind of crazy. You know, if people had more adventure in their life and went out and did more exploration, there'd be far fewer we may be in the uh, in the midst of a, a technology backlash, right? We got things so figured out. We get up in the morning, we're, oh God, snooze. We get up, we commute, we get on the train, we go to work, we get in the cubicle, we do our job, we get out of the cubicle, we come home, we have some dinner, we watch TV. You guys, you do it over and over and over again, and I think that one of the reasons we're growing is people are saying, no, there's more to life. The whole, the whole point of life is to truly live and to have experiences, and that's what we're all about. That's why I went, yes, we've got to create Overland Bound and, and, and show people how they can explore and adventure. Myself personally, um, in addition to my life generally turning to shit, the time I was <laughs> in a job that I didn't enjoy sitting behind my computer looking at the Camel Trophy races and going, man, what the hell am I doing with my life? I could be doing something similar to that. And I just found those races inspiring and it represented all of human ingenuity, um, succeeding over tremendous obstacles and the whole point was the journey in itself and getting from point A and point B. That's when we really excel. That's why, that's why John F. Kennedy sent men to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. It was hard because exploration is key to human existence. That's how heroes are made. We need to get out, we need to explore, and that's what Overland Bound is all about. Tonight, we're gonna do a little bit of a State of the Union, talk about where things are at with Overland Bound right now, and we're gonna talk about where we're going because things have changed. You know, I quit. I had to quit my career in the video game industry to focus 100% on Overland Bound. Now here's the thing. You watch YouTube, you see the comments, and you see me interacting on our website. You might think that Overland Bound is Michael. Not even close. There is no way I could run or manage Overland Bound as an individual. There are not enough of my lifetimes to do that. Many people contribute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll the credits here of, of the folks that contribute to Overland Bound. There are quite a few people that keep Overland Bound running. And the reason we are becoming a company and we are very focused is because dreams and anything great, it's not built from rainbows and unicorn farts. <laughs> You need to be strong, you need to have resources, and we've got 10,000 members out there that require our support, and Overland Bound is not stopping here for our members. This isn't it. We're gonna get a lot better, and what we're focused on right now and in 2018 is developing features for our website and for explorers, adventurers, and wanderers to connect with one another and plan 
their destinations. We're also gonna do what we call core products. Um, they are fundamental, fundamental overland products. Our community is a wealth of knowledge and information. They use products. If they use them and they trust them and they have shown that they will last and they're not gonna let you down and it's core, like an ax, for example, we're gonna carry that in our store. Now here's our qualification for carrying anything in the store. One, it's gotta be member vetted. At least 10 people have to stand up and say, this is a quality product, right? And then the other thing is, we have to be able to provide it to our members at the best price on the internet. If a manufacturer won't that make that deal for our members, we're not carrying the product, right? As we grow, again, we have more strength and we have more leverage, and we're working with some great companies that are willing to provide that benefit to Overland Bound members. Membership is $24.99 as of this video. You buy one product because you're gonna be overlanding and you pay for your membership. We wanna make it that worthwhile and that much of a benefit to our members. And then you get all the software and all that other stuff as well. So. We're gonna be doing that. I've mentioned software, I've mentioned products, and events. We're gonna be expanding our events because we wanna get Overland Bound members together around the country and around the world. So we'll be doing more of that as well. Uh, you know how I got the name Overland Bound? Um, I'll tell you. In 2010, I went to a domain registration place and I typed in Overland Bound it was the first thing I thought of. I wanted it to be aspirational, which is why it's bound, Overland bound, we're going. And it was available. Overlanding was, <laughs> was, was not a thing. Tip of the hat to Overland Journal um, and Expedition Portal. They were on the map and, and those guys were doing a great job. Um, but now it's starting to transition into mainstream. And again, talking about that technology backlash, I think that's kind of why it is starting to go mainstream. It's not there yet. It is not commercialized. Despite what some people may think, it's nowhere close to where it's going, right? But, you know, now Overlanding has its own trolls. It's arrived, it's accomplished something. And, you know, as, as it becomes more popular, you can expect Overland Bound to be a part of the conservation uh, question. This year we also launched the Trail Guardian program. We have coins, the coins for organizing a trail, trail cleanup. It's a social media program. Everybody that organizes a trail cleanup broadcasts on social media to get that coin to show other people that they stand for proper land use. That's how we pre preserve the great outdoors for future generations to be able to use without getting our trails and our locations shut down. One of the hardest things is to stand up for what you believe. So we're trying to advocate. Look, here's here's the thing. I, I know if you're under 40, you might not get it. No offense, but I'm old enough to remember when there were fewer people on the planet. If you don't like seeing people out in the wilderness in places where you want to be alone and you think more and more people are out there, you're right. And the only alternative is to find another planet. The population is not going to stop increasing. There are going to be more and more people. So you can expect Overland Bound to be a major part of the conversation on how we properly utilize the great outdoors together so that we can all benefit. Our products, they're products with purpose. We support our vets. We donate to a number of different charities. We'll continue to do so. In fact, um, you can find Overland Bound underscore fake block stickers in our store. They're an expensive sticker. They're $9.99. But all proceeds are going to, to go towards stopping cyber bullying and 100% of proceeds will go to those organizations. Look, we expect all of our members to adhere to our core principles, um, leave it better than you found it, our Trail Guardian program. We expect our members to educate others about proper land use, but the fact of the matter is, at HQ, we cannot control the actions of Everybody is an adult and they're responsible for their own actions, but we don't wipe butts and noses and we didn't invent going outside. We expect that our members and other people that adventure with us 
will conduct themselves in a proper way for proper land use. This is essential. We're all in this together, folks. These are our natural resources and we want them to be available and open for generations to come. So going forward, you can expect Overland Bound to be a huge part of that conversation. Thanks for hanging out with me. Let's recap real quick before I say goodbye. You'll see me again. Don't worry. Overland Bound it was a blog, it became a community, and now it's launching forward as a company to support our members and to bring benefits to, to our members and to get more and more people connected with the unknown adventure and the great outdoors. We will continue to donate to charities that we support. We support products with purpose. We will bring the best prices as part of building this strong company. We will bring the best prices to our members for really good products that are core to adventure. And we'll continue to acknowledge and understand that we're not for everyone. We've acquired our, 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 our own trolls and now the trolls are bickering about, you know, <laughs> who's the... Who's the best troll? Um, it just comes with the territory. So here's what I want to say to the creators out there. Keep creating, man. The trolls are always going to be there. It's not new. They'll be there till the end of time. They're here to test your resolve. We do not tolerate cyberbullying. We do not tolerate assholes in our forums. We are humble and overlanding is for everyone. It doesn't depend on your pocketbook and we will continue to support anyone that wants to break out of their routine, find adventure in the great outdoors. Until next time you guys, outfit and explore.